let's bring in Jen Kiggins. We should point out we've extended an invitation to the Loria campaign as well. Uh, thanks for being here. Good afternoon. Thank you. you. So you are a state senator, a geriatric nurse practitioner, a U.S. Navy veteran, a mother, a Navy wife, and a Republican candidate for Congress. You have a lot on your plate. Why do you want to go to Congress? That's right. Oh, the fight is up in Congress at the federal level these days. I mean, the disastrous pi policies of the Joe Biden administration are all on the ballot this year. It's going to be a referendum really on the Joe Biden administration in the second district. They go by the name of Elaine Luria. So this is going to be a top tier race to watch. We're very excited about it. a lot of momentum, especially with our great victories in Virginia last year with Governor Glenn Youngkin. And we're super excited to continue that. We've got to balance the power up in D.C. We've got to get our economy back on track. I run for Congress this year to restore American strength, not just in our economy, but at our border, uh, in our communities. I mean, the same issues are on the ballot with parents and having a voice in their kids' education uh, and, and community safety and supporting our law enforcement and then restoring strength in our military. We're seeing that at a, at a weakened, sta weakened point right now. So a lot of reasons to run, but we've got to do better just with, uh, with balancing the power up there in the halls of Congress. You know, uh, as with a lot of Democratic campaigns across the country, uh, your opponent sees, I think, political vulnerability in the issue of abortion. Here is a part of an ad that they are running now. A nationwide abortion ban. Yeah, that's extreme. And Jen Kiggins just announced she supports it. So that whole state should decide thing, she was lying. Truth is, she applauded the Supreme Court overturning Roe versus Wade. What's your response to that, and that what, how do you think that issue plays in the Commonwealth? The screaming farm animal and the liar tattooed across my forehead. I mean, the Democrats are becoming unhinged on this issue, obviously, and, and calling us all abortion extremists is a tactic, because they know they're losing, especially in this, this district. The lies that are being told by the other side, especially about me, you know, they, they've been lying from day one. It's a one-issue smear campaign, and they're, they're doing that to just distract from, from my opponent, who is an extremist on this issue, you know, supporting for the supporting the women's uh, the Women's Health Protection Act on the U.S. House floor, which allows for abortions for any reason at any time at taxpayer ex expense. They're the extremist on this issue, but they continue to just want to want run issue campaign because they don't want to talk about the other issues that are bringing voters out to the polls this year. The economy is by, by you know, far and away. That is the issue that will bring people out to vote. The price of gas, gas and groceries is what uh, is impacting especially my district. You know, people in my district live on a fixed income. I've got a lot of active duty military in my district who are who are eligible for things like WIC and food stamps already. Uh, and this economy has really hurt them. You know, one out of six Americans can't pay their utility bills. But look what that's doing to our active duty military right now. And also my, my patient population is a geriatric nurse practitioner, people that are living on Social Security. These guys are on fixed incomes. So the disastrous policies that have really caused inflation just to skyrocket, I mean, their dollars are going are not going as far. And, you know, with our enlisted people, especially in the military, yeah. we've talked to commanders recently who are rearranging their watch schedules because they're encouraging their enlisted people to you, carpool to work together. So, so in fact, national security thing. at this point. So your opponent does, and we've checked this with 538, uh, vote with the president 99% of the time. Uh, do you think that the president's okay. uh, approval is going to make a big difference? I only have a few seconds. Yeah, the president will be on the ballot this year, and that's what she's not telling people. She is not telling the voters of the 2nd Congressional District in Virginia that she votes with Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden and the failed policies have put in place 99% of the time. She plays yeah. a moderate every election cycle. She's doing it this time. You can almost set your clock to it. A couple All months right. before, they play moderate, but that's not how she votes. We'll watch this so race We're excited to win the seat back. And thank you. My thank website, www.jenforcongress.com. Thanks for having me today. Jen Kiggins, we appreciate it.